Namaste yogis, yoga teachers, future yoga teachers, current yoga teachers. I am so excited. I just found out that an article that I did with the Defender Network is now officially live. So I will link the article down below. And something that I'm really excited about is that just by being in that space, talking to the interviewer, the journalist, a SWAT walker that I was talking to, I I got to explore some things that I hadn't thought about in my yoga journey for a long time. I got to be asked questions and to explore what got me started, what really I'm passionate about. And something he said at the end of the interview was really interesting. He's like, you know, I I got into this work and into this topic because it's something that a lot of black people are getting into. A lot of people of color have been doing yoga, exploring yoga. And so he wanted to be on the top of that. I mean, he's a journalist, so he wanted to be in that information and be sharing that information. And just after talking to me, and we spent maybe an hour or so talking about all the questions going through his things, he was like, now you make me want to try yoga. And that for me is like, yes, we need more yogis of color, especially since as a demographic, people of color have the most diagnosis of technically preventable diseases. And so while I don't ever say yoga is like a cure all, what yoga does is it's a relationship with yourself that helps you to make choices and form decisions about everything in your life. And so if you're not already practicing yoga, if you have people around you in your life that are not practicing yoga, because you're, you're a yoga teacher, you're a yoga leader, but other people may not be practicing yoga. It's not because they don't want to feel good. It's not because they don't want to support you. They don't want to patronize. It may just be that they don't value it for themselves they don't see they are practicing yoga them putting it in their schedule them taking time out of their day as being more valuable than something they could be doing in that time and the thing about it as a new yoga teacher I always thought like oh I gotta make everybody come to yoga I gotta tell them to come I gotta get them to come to my class and it's not about you. It's about them. So the more that you live your life, the more that you smile, the more that you show up, the more that you exude the joy that you get from being connected to self, the more that you get to show them instead of tell them about yoga. And the more that you show them instead of tell them about yoga, the louder your actions will speak over something that you, you know, if you're repeating and asking them to do something. Okay, does that make sense? I think I'm making sense. And I feel like this at this moment is an opportune time. We're right before the New Year's rush. Everybody was going to start yoga. Everybody's going to be thinking about yoga. They're going to be thinking about what new things they want to start in their year. So I am putting together for you a five-day virtual yoga event challenge. This is specifically to help you to design your virtual event that will not only provide a space for all these new yoga students to come to, it will give them a chance to not just fizzle out in February. It will give them a chance to feel excited, to be supported, and to become super fans this gives them an opportunity to feel like they're actually in your tribe instead of just like showing up checking a, a box and saying they took a yoga class they get to be in your tribe and that's something that they're actually craving they're not just craving oh i need to do exercise 30 minutes a day they're craving the feeling that comes the results the outcome the connection they're craving the health that comes from consistency. So in the new year, people think like, oh, I need to start doing yoga because yoga is the thing and X, Y, Z reasons. But what's gonna keep them there is feeling the connection. 
So that is really what's important about creating a virtual yoga event. And that is what we're going to do together. So you are actually the first to hear about this. I'm only dropping the link on YouTube first. So go down in the caption, click the link, sign up, and you will be able to join for free in a five-day challenge. We're going to do five things to get you ready to host your own yoga event. I'm so excited to offer this. I, I feel called to do this. And this is going to be a game changer. We also have some things. Yes, it's 100% free. You can participate 100% free. And if you're that type of person like me, you want to get a little more, you want a little more support, you need some time to actually put the actions into place, then there are some additional options. You can do the VIP. You can do the implementation labs together with me. You can do more things. You can have the, the ability to ask questions in real time. So that's in the VIP option if you want to get more out of it. However, if that's not you right now, you're just like, I just want to see what's happening. Just join the challenge, get in the Facebook group. We're going to have connection on there and then post the videos and you'll be able to be a part of it. It's going to be live November 1st through November 5th. You do not want to miss this. This is for yoga leaders. This is for yoga queens. Yes, men are welcome to join us. And I particularly love, love, love to lead yoga teachers into this work, especially my sisters, my queens. So I invite you to let all the other yoga teachers know that this is happening, okay? Because I'm only accepting a thousand people. And let me put that in perspective because last time I said that to somebody, they were like, only a thousand? Last year around this time, I hosted a free event. I had 4,000 people register, okay? So I just know as far as bandwidth goes, like that was a lot I felt overwhelming for me. This year, I'm limiting it to 1,000. So the 1,000 people who are excited and ready, come on with me. We're going to get this going, okay? I'm so excited because... This is right on time for New Year's. You are going to be ready. You're going to feel ready and you're not going to be like, oh, I should be doing something as New Year's. So let's hop on. Let's get it going. I'm so excited to be doing this work with you. This is going to be awesome. We need more full-time yoga teachers in the world. We need more yoga in the general in this world. And the more that you do yoga, the more you create positive change in your body and your relationships and your family and in your communities and in the world. So this is all about the mission, world peace through inner peace. Namaste, my yogis. I will see you in the next video. And I will see you in the virtual yoga event challenge. Yes. <laughs>